Hello guys, I'm here talking about the Lego, um, the new Lego sets from Lego Super Heroes DC Universe. This is set 6863 from Lego Super Heroes. And this is the Batwing battle over Gotham City. What's going on everybody? Aaron here, back with my first Lego review in four years. If you could believe it, we reviewed that great hall set from Harry Potter back in 2018. And so here we are with this video. Today we're checking out the Batwing battle over Gotham City. It's set number 6863. You get 278 pieces with this one, three minifigures, and it retailed for 35 bucks back in the day. We'll talk about that price later. Let's go ahead and jump into the minifigures and get into this. Minifigures, all right. We have the Batman minifigure, Dark Knight, all black, and um, it comes with uh, two batterings. And first off here, of course, we have to have the main character here in these sets. This is Batman in his black suit, uh, which of course is a redesign from that kind of Lego Batman suit that he had, where it was almost like the Arkham City suit, like from the video games. And then they also did a couple of suits. They did kind of like a, um, a Frank Miller um, Dark Knight Returns Batman where he had a blue suit with the old style cowl. This one has a new style cowl. I know that two different batches of this set went out. One where he kind of had the older chunkier cowl that actually the, the blue suit Batman from the same original 2012 wave also had and then some went out with this new cowl we can go ahead and take a look at uh, the cape and cowl removed and that will leave us with this no leg printing just because this was still kind of at a simple time uh, but this was a huge step up from the uh, 2006 through 2008 batman that they had with no back printing no second facial expression so uh, this is what we got with that next up here we have the redesigned joker and for me, at the time, being a kid in 2012, this was the minifigure out of this lineup that I was definitely looking forward to the most at the time, just because as much as I was familiar, as familiar as I was with the kind of Lego Batman design for the Joker character, I never actually got a single Lego Batman set because I was too young to build Lego at that time. I didn't get into Lego until I was, uh, I, I think it was in 2009. Um, so this Joker figure was extremely, like, hype for me, and, I mean, you could see why. They gave him kind of a newer hairpiece. He had that, like, Wolverine hairpiece that they used for the Wolverine figure in the 2012 sets that came out in the same year, and the Joker just looks awesome here. He's got a little flag gun as an accessory, and he's got a second expression there, albeit a little banged up. So this is the Joker figure from back in the day, and... Yeah, he still looks great. Last up, and honestly not least up, is the Joker henchman, this little Joker goon. Uh, I feel like this figure is a little underrated. It's a cool redesign. It's miles ahead of the old kind of Joker goon that you guys had from the Lego Batman line, where it was just a, purp a plain purple torso, black legs or gray legs, and a guy with sunglasses on and his little, uh, I guess, robber cap, this kind of beanie cap. Yeah, this guy looks really good, in my opinion. I love the little Joker print on the back there. Uh, and that actual, like, icon of Joker's face is consistent with the one actually on the helicopter, which we'll take a look at. First up here, we'll take a look at the Batwing itself, since it is the title character, so to speak, or title vehicle of the actual set itself. Now, keep in mind, you don't get this little display base with it. I just went ahead and pinned it up there so you could kind of get an idea of maybe how you'd want to display it. And so here is our 2012 kind of redesigned Batwing. This one is about half the size of the Lego Batman one. And so that kind of brings in maybe some people that don't really like the build of this. I personally have always really liked the build of this. I feel like it kind of tested the limits of what you were able to do with just existing wedge pieces and, and larger parts like that. 
opposed to needing kind of the specialized pieces that we have nowadays for Lego Batman. Nevertheless, this is kind of what we have, and I actually am a fan of this. Starting out, of course, as you might expect, we get the opening wing feature, similar to kind of what you'd see on an X-Wing nowadays. Underneath each of those wings, you get a push missile, one of those like flick missiles that you kind of, I mean, we all know how it works at this point, but I'll do it anyway. You kind of just push that out and you could fire a missile in that way. But something that I actually really like on this as well, in addition to the flick missiles, you could see this kind of button that you kind of build and it just rests right on top. It doesn't quite go all the way down. Here, I'm gonna lower the wings here so you can see. Uh, it doesn't quite go all the way down. As you can see, it just kind of rests on that button. And you might've seen this underneath. And the whole idea is that it's kind of just a bomb that you can drop. And once you drop that, this is just kind of what you get. The cockpit, even for the time, wasn't really anything to write home about. It just opened up like that and you've got two knobs in there. Next up, we have the Joker helicopter, which no base, again, as I mentioned, included with either of these vehicles. I just kind of built this up real quick to go ahead and show you guys kind of an all around look at this helicopter. And here we have the actual Joker helicopter itself with the minifigures removed. And you could see it's it's a nice little helicopter build. I, I really don't know why this set is kind of, I guess, hated now or, uh, a lot of people see it as kind of mid now. We've got that same Joker icon that I was talking about that's present on the back torso printing for the Joker goon and um, a lot of Technic stuff. I guess that would be my only complaint with this build since it's such a small, I guess, build overall. A lot of the Technic themes couldn't really be hidden in the way that you could in a larger build. Um, but nevertheless, we kind of have this truss piece that I really like, this kind of like beam truss looking thing here. And I remember those came in the navy blue in the Batcave set, which stay tuned if you like that set. Um, but we've got a little propeller here on the back, as you can see, uh, stickers on both sides for kind of this J icon. Um, but you shouldn't really have too much trouble lining those up. I mean, it's a larger sticker. So we have the larger propeller on top, which you can spin really easily. And kind of the way that they did that was this little uh, two by two with the Technic pin on top. And then we've got this little connection here, just like that. And uh, these propellers can be bent however you'd like because they're on those hinges. I don't know why you would <laughs> bend them any other way than this. But you could lift this little canopy piece. And I actually really, really like this canopy piece in this clear color. Uh, I don't really think we've gotten that too many times. Inside is that standard print that we've seen in LEGO City. And I don't even know how many other themes already at this point. But there's actually a lot of uh, little room there for you to actually fit a minifigure. And uh, we're just going to use the Joker Goon here. You can just kind of close it up that way and he sits in there with actually some decent space. So that definitely is a positive. We've got more push missiles on each side, which kind of just flick out that way. And uh, we can go ahead and get into the feature for the set. And kind of what I was talking about was this giant red button we have on the back. Uh, you go ahead and push that and this little torpedo bomb drops out. So you kind of have bombs in both vehicles, which I think is really cool. You just kind of push this out here and it really shoots. Before we went ahead and took a look at the set overall, I thought I'd just show the instruction manual here real quick. You can see we kind of have that old style uh, DC Universe superheroes icon that we'd have in the corner. And then for that little Superman $20 set, it was Superman up there. Just kind of nostalgic seeing these instructions, honestly. Um, but pretty standard build. Uh, as far as the pages go, a little interesting note is that that Superman that's pictured there doesn't have the new specialized, or at the time it was that new specialized hair piece for him. And then as far as any interesting ads towards the back, uh, we've got the whole line of city sets there for some reason. Uh, these old buildable figures, uh, comment below what you think of those. I think I already know the answer. And then just an advertisement for Lego Batman 2. A cool thing that was also included with these sets, I think up until about 2016, I want to say 2017, we actually used to get a comic in every single DC superhero set. And what was cool about this initial wave is that the comics all connected. So you could see this was number four and uh, we've got a lineup of all the sets there. Actually, uh, a note, the, the only set I didn't ever get out of this wave was that little Two-Face uh, Batmobile chase set. But otherwise, uh, it's just a cool little comic that was included with a minifigure checklist. And here's the actual story for 
<laughs> this set that we've just taken a look at. Okay, so this is kind of the point where we do my general thoughts on the set overall as far as physical value for the money, play value, display value, and just kind of my overall thoughts on was this worth it or not. And so for that $35 price point back in the day, 278 pieces, if you are one of those 10 cents per piece people like I am, I know a lot of people say that that's not a way to justify a price, but considering we have some of the larger pieces in this set with the actual Batwing itself and these propeller pieces, eh, value-wise, it's okay, but just kind of the eye test, which is kind of more of like a sports term, uh, does this pass the eye test for $35? This could have been a $30 set, opposed to $35. And so, I mean, you get two cool vehicles, in my opinion, very cool vehicles, underrated vehicles, in my opinion, um, but three minifigures, one of which I believe has remained exclusive to this day with the Joker Goon, it's pretty good. It's a good set. And so, out of 10, if I had to give this one a score, um, I would say this is about a 7 out of 10. Uh, I, I really, really, really like the set, but if you were talking about value, well, that would bring a score down. This one today would set you back about uh, anywhere from, I want to say, like $36 to $50 on BrickLink if you just kind of look at what's available. And if you get it used, just go ahead and, and take a look at kind of the seller's record and reviews as far as their, uh, are the parts clean and that type of a thing. So otherwise, guys, I really, really, really appreciate you checking out this video. I'm sorry if this one ran a little longer um, than I kind of wanted to. I'm just kind of getting back into the swing of things here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already. Let's boost that subscriber count up. And yeah, let's do it, guys. I really appreciate it. Next video, we're talking about film. Later.